Hi guys, it's me. So today I'm going to share with you how to use hairspray as an affixative. Now, an affixative is just like it sounds. It affixes things that move like chalk pastels and like watercolors and inks and water-based kind of crowns and that kind of thing. It affixes them in place so that you can add layers on top of them or you can seal your work. Um, so hairspray, which I don't think a lot of people know, does almost the same thing as an affixative. Plus it doesn't have the horrible smell that affixatives have and it's definitely a lot cheaper. This I got from the dollar store, literally. It was a buck. Um, and you know, spray affixatives can cost upwards of, I've seen them from like eight to $14. So they're very expensive. They can be a little difficult to find. Um, so this is kind of a great art hack. <laughs> <laughs> a great way to kind of um, use something that you have in your cupboard um, to to do what you need it to do because I love working in layers I'm a mixed media artist um, but it's so annoying and it definitely makes me not want to use certain products that I love because I know that they're gonna move they're not permanent and I don't want to have to seal every single layer all the time like um, sometimes I'm just in the mood and I just want to be a part of the process so I would much rather grab my can of hairspray and spray that um, than having to worry about um, using kind of a smelly stinky thing that I have to take outside and just go through all the trouble of. So what I have here is just a piece of um, marker paper. It's a heavier one though or colored pencil paper. That's what I'm using but this will work on canvases, wood, um, paper, whatever surface you're working on. So I have here just a whole bunch of mediums that like to move around on you. Okay, so I have a pencil, I have an oil pastel, I have um, a gelato, or this is a gel stick, but it's basically the same thing. And Or you could use a watercolor crown would be great. And then a chalk pastel. Um, I'm also going to use ink and also watercolor too, just to show you. And it won't be perfect. It's still going to move a little bit, but not as much as if you don't affix it. Okay, so we're going to grab the pencil first. This is just a plain number two pencil. And I'm just going to make swatches just to kind of show you how it goes. Okay, and then this is the oil, the chalk pastel, not the oil, the chalk pastel, which I love these, they're so creamy and beautiful. And you can affix them with, um, with gesso, but sometimes I just want that beautiful chalky kind of look. So this is an oil pastel, so we'll go ahead and put that down. Alrighty, and then this is my watercolor crown or a gelato. It's basically water soluble and these do move. Um, you can blend them together but um, they do move when you activate them with water and if you keep working with them they'll continue to move. Okay so now we're going to grab some watercolor. This is just cheap watercolor, nothing fancy and actually I should do another color. Let's mix the blue and the purple. I just thought about you guys will get confused. There we go. And I'm like thinning this out because I don't want it take I don't want it to take so long to dry, just like that. Okay. And then we're also going to add some ink. And that's another thing too. Like I love inks and I love all the color and variation that they have in inks. But the problem is that again, if they're water-based inks like this or dye inks, um, they move around, which is really annoying. So. Um, this is another way to get them to move around less so that you can work. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and push that out. Okay, so that's just ink. Okay, perfect. And this way you can work in layers and it's and it's better for the environment and for you too. I'm sure you already have a can of hairspray. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this off. Okay, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to show you, my hands are a little dirty, but chalk comes all the way up. Pencil, up, smudges. 
ink up comes up. Oil pastel, of course, comes up. Water soluble crown. I bet you'll see blue on my hand. Same thing. Watercolor. Yep, there's a little bit of purple there. Okay, so now we'll grab our hairspray, and what you do is shake it up really, really good, and then you put a nice even coat on top. Okay, but be generous. Don't be stingy. Make sure you get all the spots. Okay, so now we're going to let that dry just for a second. I'm going to blow dry it off so you can see. Um, I'll let it sit for a second, though, um, but we'll just blow dry it off. It takes, you know, just a few seconds to dry, so... Okay, so now I'm going to get a white paper towel since my fingers are all dirty. <laughs> and I did spray it over a little rough here, so that's why it bled a little bit. But if you just spray gently and far away, unlike me, um, you will not have that problem. Okay, so let's try the oil past the chalk pastel. Now, you will get a little bit of, what do you call that, a little bit of residue coming up, but not as much as when I use my fingers. So I'm going to go ahead, go in. And you see there's barely any green there. I don't even know if you can see it on the camera. There's like hardly any. Let's try the this one. This is the, the pencil. And you see that there's a little bit there, but not as much as that was on my finger. Okay, so it did. And um, if and I did a really thick layer of um, the graphite or the pencil. Um, so if you or the lead. So um, if you did a lighter layer, because I do have other swatches, it doesn't it doesn't come up. Like this one didn't come out at all, and that was a really light kind of one. Okay. So let's go for our ink. Ink doesn't come up at all. So it affixes waterproof ink. Um, let's do this one, the water soluble crown. Nope, doesn't come up at all. Okay, let's do the watercolor. Nope, not at all. And the oil pastel might come up a little bit. It came up just a little bit. Okay, but again, not as much. And even when I do Mod Podge, it comes up a little bit. But this is much better than, <laughs> than before. Okay, and I did these other swatches too, so you can see. So it works really well. I mean, it's it fixed. Actually, let's let's see if we can, let's really do a test. And I wasn't planning on doing this, but we're going to do it. So what I have here is some Deco Page Blue. So let's take a brush and see what happens. Like I said, I didn't try this, so it might be a really bad idea, but <laughs> we're gonna see. We're gonna see if it actually works well. So I'm going over the mediums. There's absolutely no color. That is the water soluble crown. Okay, let's go over this. Nope, see, no bleeding. Let's go over the watercolor. Nope, none. Okay, now for the hard part, the pastel. Not any from the pastel. I can't even believe this. <laughs> and then the oil pastel, we might get a little bit. Nope, absolutely nothing. So guys, this works and you see that there is no smudging. It did not move at all. This I did before. It didn't move. 
So this is so awesome and I'm so excited to use this in my art. I'm sorry. I'm like, oh my gosh, how cool is this? So super fun. I totally hope that you try this technique. As I said, I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's called Perfect Purity Unscented hairspray and um, I got the maximum hold just because I thought that would be regular than, better than the regular hold um, so really fun I want to see if the ink because I didn't do any ink on that one but I did fix this nope no ink either doesn't come up so this is so cool this is such an awesome technique I hope that you guys give it a try and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys on Monday bye bye have a great day Please share this video too. If you know a friend that wants to save a couple bucks, share this video with them. I'm sure that they would be very thankful to you and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.